The most common pituitary disease is indeed pituitary tumors. And it turns out that about one in 10 people in the population have a small pituitary tumor. And these are called incidentalomas because usually they're found by accident. So somebody comes in and needs a head scan because they're having a headache or maybe they had a motor vehicle accident and you find a tiny tumor in the pituitary. Most of these tumors are clinically insignificant. They do not produce hormone nor do they knock out hormone production. The tumors that we worry about in the pituitary gland are tumors that actually overproduce hormone, and those include tumors that produce prolactin, known as prolactinomas, which are classically the only hormone-producing tumor that can be treated with medication alone. The other hormone-producing tumors, including growth hormone-producing tumors causing acromegaly and ACTH-producing tumors causing Cushing syndromes, are treated surgically initially. They may require further treatment down the road, but the treatment of choice is surgery. In addition, the size of the tumor is critically important. Tumors that are less than a centimeter in size, unless they are producing hormone, can typically be followed and monitored. Tumors that are greater than a centimeter size are more concerning, especially if you're more than one and a half by one and a half centimeters in size. And those tumors, whether they produce hormone or not, oftentimes have to be surgically resected because they can cause problems and abnormalities by the size alone. Pituitary tumors are classically small in size, but some tumors, especially tumors that do not produce hormone, can be silent for years and therefore can present um, as very large tumors. And it's interesting that in the pituitary, we consider a large tumor to be greater than one centimeter. So tumors that are more than one and a half by one and a half centimeters get much more attention even if they're not producing hormone. And we certainly can see tumors that are two to three centimeters in size. And we are much more concerned about those tumors causing compression of other tissue and sometimes bleeding can occur in those tumors and cause something called pituitary apoplexy, which is a medical emergency where pituitary function is lost. So the size of the tumor is critical. The incidence of pituitary tumors in the population that have to be surgically removed is about 35 per million per year. And that includes tumors that are large and then tumors that overproduce hormones.